Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So, we continue with the problem space and searching techniques. Okay, so there are basically two main types of uh, searching algorithm. First one is uninformed search. Okay, this is not uniform, it's uninformed. That means the searching is without any information. Okay, and the second one is the informed search. That means that we have some heuristic or intelligent search here. We have, uh, we know uh, what is in the future, okay, or the uh, the next note, okay. But uh, for uninformed search, also called as blind, exhaustive or brute for search. So we just go to the next note without knowing uh, what is the value of the next uh, note. Right. Uh, so basically, this is the two types, okay. Uninformed search, there's no heuristic. We don't have any information uh, about uh, what is the cost actually from one node to another node or what are other challenges uh, to go from nodes to another nodes. So we simply go by path. Alright, uh, so we have the def deficit search, okay, using LIFO stack. Uh, we look at this letter and also breath search, okay, uh, as well as the uh, priority queue because we have a priority then, okay. And the informed search, we have many types, okay, you can see here, best first search, problem reduction, mean analysis, health climbing, etc. But I can tell you, every searching, okay, basically, uh, it's smooth like or based from death first search or breath first search. Okay, so in order for us to use uh, searching, we need to know what are the search space. So I'm sure you remember what is the graph notes look like, okay, a tree. So, there are interconnection between nodes here. And if you look uh, here, okay, for example, if these are towns, S, A, D, E, B, C, F, and G are towns, so we can say that this is the distance, okay, or also called as weight, okay. So, if I say that from S, we need to go to E with a shortest path or the nearest path, so you will have to count what is the uh, minimum number of the uh, distance. So if you use S to A is 3, A to D is 5, so accumulated as 8. And then from D to E is another 2, so it's already 10 km. So you might use this one that is D uh, to E, which is 4 plus 2, only 6 km. Right? Uh, so this is how we represent a weight or a cost between uh, the nodes. Okay, so how to write the search notation? Basically, we have this uh, three important notation, which is the Fn, the function that estimate the cost solution. Okay, the Hn, that is heuristic function uh, that estimate uh, the least cost path from node n to goal node. Okay, node n, not the starting uh, node. Okay. And GN is a cost function that estimates least cost from the start node to N. So if you can see that FN is from starting node to goal node. Okay. HN from the middle to goal. And GN is from the starting to N. Right. So this is the uh, function to calculate the search. Or the function to calculate the cost or path. Okay, is from starting to the end node. Say this is the current node. Okay, remember this is just a number of steps. So, for example, this is step number 10 or node number 10. And our goal is at node 20, for example. Okay, so starting to the current node is GN and from current node to the goal node is HN. So, we know that heuristic. We are now here at the current node. To go to the goal node is something that we haven't reached yet. But we estimate, we predict, okay, what would be the cost. Right, next, uh, HN, as I said, uh, is an estimate, okay, uh, from N to goal. Okay, so if the heuristic function is less than actual cost, so we call this as underestimate. So similar with buying things, if you underestimate the price, so basically end up you have to spend more than what your budget is. So, this is not good is if the HN is less than actual cost. Okay, for notation or writing style, you can use uh, the head here or just an asterisk. Okay, and then we have 
uh, G. Okay, remember G is from the starting node to the current node. Okay, so it's actual cost because we are traveling. For example, now from Kuala Lumpur to Bangi. Okay, from our office, we estimate that uh, from uh, KLCC, for example, okay, to UKM Bangi, I don't know, probably 23 kilometer. So that is what we know. Okay, but what are, what are other costs that you need to actually put uh, while uh, calculating the cost? Okay, you have to think about the time. Okay, if uh, you starting the travels from KL at 3 p.m., you can reach within 15 or 30 minutes. Okay, but if you move from your office at 5 p.m., probably you can only reach UKM by 7 or 8 because you have other things, a challenge to think about. That is the traffic jams. Okay, as well as the uh, fuel uh, estimation. So everything changes. Okay, so this is the real cost that took from uh, Kuala Lumpur to UKM, right? Or you already know from Kuala Lumpur and then you stopped at hmm, uh, Sungai Besi, for example, uh, RNR Sungai Besi. Okay, so you stop there, so you already know what is the actual cost, uh, uh, mileage, okay, as well as your fuel and time that you have consumed from your office to the Sungai Besi. But then from Sungai Besi R&R to UKM is your estimate. You don't know yet. Okay, but you can actually guess, right? That is estimation of heuristic. Okay, then we come to heuristic function. As I said just now, from uh, Sungai Besi R&R to UKM, uh, you estimate. Okay, so the goodness of your estimation or your guessing uh, would give you a benefit whether you can cut the cost or you uh, have to spend more okay so if the estimate function is equal to what actually you estimate so it's perfect heuristic okay so why do we have this two okay well, first one is before you travel okay you estimate from Sungai Besi to uh, UKM at uh, 6 p.m. okay it will take one hour and of course, that will be your uh, petrol budget will increase by five ringgit, for example. And when you do make the uh, when you do make the traveling from the Sungai Besi R and R to UKM, exactly you get one hour, and you have to add uh, five ringgit for the fuel. And of course, uh, you get the time correctly as well. So that means that's a perfect heuristic. Your H is your what you estimate is similar with the, with the actual H or become G already. Right? Now, uh, for searching, okay, uh, if we look back at our example, okay, uh, to go from S to G, for example, okay, if a blind search, okay, they can just go to next node, okay? So, imagine uh, you have your cat here, Okay, there are two tunnels to go to O to go to A and D. Okay, so because they don't know, uh, they don't have any information about three or four. Okay, so blind search, they don't have any information. They know what option they have. So it's either go to A or D. So your cat go to A. Okay, from A, there are another two tunnels, B and D. So probably they, they go to the B. And then uh, at B nodes, they have another two options, C and E. So if they go to C, they don't meet the goal. Okay, for example, goal is here. In case of cat, okay, probably we put a fish here and this cat might have a bad nose. I think they cannot smell. Alright, so the cat have to uh, travel back to B. Okay, and then probably he will explore to the next E and then go to F and then found the goal. Okay, so there are probability that your search, okay, in our example just now, cat get lost. So similar, your algorithm can get lost in middle. So that's why uh, we need some control strategies to make sure that if your searching is lost, they can backtrack and go back to the previous node and explore another uh, options. Okay, so we have forward search. Okay, this is similar with our uh, inference. Okay, forward chaining, backward chaining. 
So for word search, basically proceed forward. Okay, and this is data directed. Now your cat is already in A. What do we have next? We have two options, whether to B and C. So that is data directed. This is what we have. Backward search, you're already at the goal. You have to go backward. From the goal state, what are the option uh, notes or tunnel that they can go right heuristic search depend on knowledge and a guided search okay this is like uh, inform search or we have the for example just now i gave uh, instead of cat with a bad nose you put a cat with a good nose so they can smell uh, fish uh, and they know which tunnel is nearer to the fish we can also have a forward and backward search that is a mixture of both can go next or can backward, right? And also systematic search, right? Now let's look at the example of uh, forward chaining. Okay, given a rule base, uh, rule one, rule two, rule three, and four, uh, using a forward chaining. If we have to prove that A and B is true, then D is true, so because this is a forward forward chaining, so it's data driven. Okay, so you have to find from R1 to R4 about the statement first. That then only you go the conclusion. So this one is A and C then F. Okay, so here already says that the A is true. Okay, so you check with A. Okay, we you have found the statement that A is true, and then go to the second statement. If A and E then G. So this is another statement saying that A, A is true. So, this is another support for A is true. Rule number three, if B, then E. Okay. So, now you have, a, you found a uh, sentence say that B is true, then E. Okay. So, basically, we have proved that we have A and B as true. Then, how do we go to, how do we prove that D is true? Okay. Then, we have here A and B is true, then D. So you can hear that, you can see that here you have a statement A and E, then G is true, and here B is true, then E. Okay, so you have A is true, B is true, so B then E is true, and then you already have A already true, and E is also already true. Okay, so that statement, okay, will infer okay or will trigger that g is true then if the g is true then we will conclude that g is true so this statement is proven okay so i'll ask you about how to prove from a backward chaining and lastly is okay we we'll look at depth first search and breadth first search. Okay, this is a link uh, for breadth first search and uh, depth first search uh, techniques. So please watch this carefully uh, and practice with the exercise that I will give. Alright, uh, thank you and hope you can understand this.